the governor of Maryland, and he just did a major, major thing. Just pardoned over 175,000 minor marijuana convictions wow. in the state of Maryland. Governor Wes Moore is on the line right now. This is about fairness. I mean, we have a whole new industry that is now a multi-billion dollar industry that is growing, that is thriving, that in the state of Maryland, we have one of the most equitable and, and smoothest rollouts of a recreational cannabis industry that the people voted for. And we still have people who have records who can't find jobs. We are truly going to address these historical wrongs and right these historical wrongs. You cannot just talk about the benefits of legalization. You have to deal with the consequences of criminalization. You no, know, I use the gubernatorial authority to be able to pardon, you know, over 175,000 convictions in the stroke of a pen. Now, the pardons, though, they don't release any incarcerated individuals. Is there any way that some people in jail for marijuana cases can use this to get out early? What can happen with people who are actually inside of a system who are serving charges? Oftentimes, A, these are people for it, it's larger, um, you know, larger quantities and, and uh, other type of other type of charges. In these 175,000 plus pardons, uh, you can just check your case file. Uh, you can go to any public kiosk at any courthouse uh, around the state of Maryland and make sure that that pardon shows up, is now showing up on your, you know, on your file. Uh, but there's nothing else for any individuals to do. But people who are still going for additional additional items or who are incarcerated are still serving additional sentences for other other items. There's still the process that they can go through to make sure the cases are seen. We are the morning hustle.